What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to more Planet Earth, or exploring a Planet Earth, rather. But you get the drill. Um, we are back with our build for the pumpkin pie factory. Um, I did a lot of work off camera just putting up these walls. So I'm going to turn around real quick. And, oh, it's this way. Show it all off. There we go. So there it is. So there's all the walls here. Tell you what, let me turn myself all the way around and oh, I am being dumb. There we go. This is the finished uh, well the 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 wall of the factory. Nothing inside yet, bar the 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 floor, but um, yeah, it's all done. So it's all concrete and terracotta, smooth sandstone and this concrete powder. I think it looks pretty good. So I'll tell you what. Um oh just typing. Can I get by you? Are you gonna bite me? Don't hurt me. I just want this and that. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this too while we're at it. And then check this out. I like to do this. I was doing this uh earlier just heading out heading on up this um kind of hill up here and look at that boom now i know the colors aren't exact you know it's not the same exact colors but it looks pretty good it looks pretty i mean it looks like in my opinion it looks like a minecraft pumpkin it really does a little bit different, but you know what? It's one of those things where it's, it's a factory, so of course it's gonna not be exactly the same. You know, the paint exactly matte. It's gonna look a little bit artificial, but that's fine. That's that's the factory look, you know, the aesthetic, if you will. So let's put those back. Um, okay. So then, oh, and I have I have tons of this. Cool. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna end up using this smooth red sandstone, but I'm afraid we might run out. We'll see. Um, but the sun is going down. Let's go ahead and eat and then sleep. And by the way, shout out to the um, whichever add-on from the food add-on or whatever. I think it's actually just a farming add-on. And um, they added like a whole cooking thing. Like, all these recipes for food and uh, cooked eggs. You would think that'd be something that's just in the base game, but it's not. And you know what? I love it. It's just, it's kind of overpowered, honestly, because you can just cook up a whole bunch of things. But yeah, here we go. So this is the interior of the factory. So just very bare walls. I just use um, all the scaffolding to kind of like sit on the back of, the, of all the um, extremities, uh, all the concrete powder and everything. I think it gives it a nice, like, kind of uh, open feel, like a factory feel. But eventually these walls will be kind of redone to an extent. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some pillars. We're going to actually do this in a second here. And then I have an idea for the factory, but I'm, it's still... We're going to work it out together in a second. Because how I'm going to do this is this whole like bottom floor that we have right here. We're going to go about one, two, three, four, five. Maybe about five blocks tall. And then do a ceiling. Um, and then maybe even on the sides over here, we're going to start lower so that we can slope it in. We're going to want like a kind of a almost a little bit rounder of a room. We're going to round it out a little bit here. Let me put in some pillars. Um, and that way it kind of gives it the impression of like, this is like carved out in the middle. So it'll be like kind of a dome, uh, ceiling almost, but, uh, kind of a wide dome. So it won't go too far up. And then we're going to leave tons of space up top for the factory floor. Um, and then to be honest, I'm probably going to need a way to get up there. So I'm probably going to need like a, an access port to get up to the factory floor. I do that just like way in the corner over here. And then I'm thinking, so like, hear me out. 
this is going to be obviously the entrance. We're going to put a little path right here, some stuff on the side. Um, and then I think over here, we have another little entrance exit. It's going to have some like area out here. Maybe we'll put in like a, I don't know, like a garden or something, something nice, like some sort of something. And then we want seating in here. And then I think now the difficult part is going to be either this side or this side. <clears throat> We're going to have the, um, like the access for the pumpkin pie. I probably want to do it right here, right? But then again, I'm going to tight in between these two doors. I want to do it on this corner. So that when you walk in, right here on your left, pumpkin pies. And then area over here for seating, maybe right here. Yeah, let's do that. So then, First of all, like I said, we're going to want to start with um, some beams. I'm going to want to use acacia wood because um, I'm going with that orange aesthetic. I think it gives it a nice look. This is that stripped acacia right here. I think that looks, yeah, looks decent. And then especially with the floor. I like the, the floor in here. I think it looks, I think it's good. Let's see. We might actually change the floor out a little bit. Maybe we'll do some of it wood, and then some of it we'll do stone or something. That way it gives it the impression of, like, you know, a little bit of tiling or something. But uh, this is where it's going to get difficult. Because, like I said, I want to round out this room a little bit. And by that, I mean... Show you, actually. Let's go get some more stuff. I want this orange concrete. This orange concrete. This orange concrete is um, gonna go in here in the corner. Like this. Basically, in each corner here, except for this far corner, where like we're gonna have a little booth right here set up, where all the supplies, all the pumpkin pies are gonna fall down into the booth. Um. Either way, these are going to be right here. scaffolding. But yeah, that's going to be um, just kind of, oh, you know what? No, let's not do dirt. Just do scaffolding. I don't think <clears throat> mobs can spawn in scaffolding. If they can, then that's kind of dumb. But I kind of like using it as filler. It feels like, at least for this instance, it looks like a actual factory stuff, you know, like actual building materials. Okay, I'm gonna give it a little bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, right here in these corners. Boom, boom, just like that. So that now, a little bit more rounded, just a little bit. I kind of like that. So. Let's also, um, I might actually have to redo these scaffolding. I'm going to want to bring up these walls. But then how many, we're going to need more concrete. Oh man, we need to more, make more concrete. We're going to need to do, an, do another um, jump cut in a minute here. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then do that time 4, 40. All right, tell you what, 40 concrete. Give me one second. I'll be right back.
All right. There we go. And with that, we now have our conk. All right. Sorry that took a second, but we can go ahead and continue on. Um, so I'm thinking about where I want to put these beans. Maybe like two, three. Put them, or you know what? Give yourself a little bit more room on the inside and put them really close to the wall. That. And over here. Wait. And then I think maybe we'll do... Thinking it out. Maybe we'll do beams on the side. Oh. Trust me, it'll look pretty good. We're done. Right. Why are we too close? Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. But tell you what, let's see kind of what this looks like. I mean, it's not that bad. Hmm. It could honestly be spread out a little bit here. Let's change it up. If you even get away with a little bit more definition. Kind of like that, and then bring this out a little bit further, even though that does kind of squeeze next to the door. I think that's quite nice. It'll be, you know, it's going to be like a little bit of a, an intimate setting, if you will, you know. All right, so let's do that over here. And then, right like this. And then these beams are going to be kind of, <clears throat> just to, really just to decorate the inside. I think it's going to make it look like it's being, you know, not here. It's going to look like it's being supported, you know, kind of by these beams. Ending, or uh, like lending to the, uh, the idea that it's like a, a real pumpkin, like a big giant carved out pumpkin. I think it looks cool. Well, let's see. Right, like that. I think actually do that fourth. Top of these guys, perfect. That is it. So let's rip all these logs. Um, and then from within, oh, excuse me, can't talk from there. We can go ahead and start. Yes. Okay, cool. Um, you know what? I guess I can go ahead and get this. I can go ahead and put a fourth on top of these two. It doesn't really matter if they're stripped or not. We're not going to see a lot of this wood. So what I want to do is do all these like, cross beams like this. And we'll just kind of crisscross our way through here. Boom, boom. We'll come back and we'll strip all this. But for now, make our way through here. And then, hmm, yeah, I guess we need to figure out where we want to go over here. That's going to be the last thing. Dudes lose their leads all the time. Um, oh, and then we need a key here, too. And then, you know what, maybe... Hmm. Okay. 
we'll see how this all looks towards the end. I think it'll still look pretty good. <clears throat> Ooh, voice crack. <laughs> pretty good. Yeah, we're getting in there. We are getting there. Um, how much coffee do we have left? We might have. Oh, oh no, we have, we have, we have plenty. We have plenty. Not that we really need this. There we go. Works one way. Alright. Greet and scaffolding. Hmm. You're not scaffolding wood. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, right? Don't you? I hope. I don't. Okay, I think we can still work with that. I think I can still make that look good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So he agrees with me. He agrees. Like this. 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 All right. I'll tell you what, guys. Let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. Um, I'm going to figure out kind of where I want to put, where, how I want to do this, um, I think off camera and, um, go ahead and finish this out. And then the, the last thing I want to do is go ahead and put in a little, uh, a little dome, a little roof in here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to cut it here, go ahead and try to figure all that out. <laughs> And then we'll return um, uh, with the next video when I see you guys later. So stay tuned, and um, I hope to see you guys in the next one. All right. Take care, everybody. Yeah, we'll turn around, actually. Like and subscribe if you care to do so. I'll see you in the next one. All right. Peace. Bye.